What's up guys? Coach Stewart here from Powerhouse Baseball Development. Today we're going to talk about one very simple approach that you can use at any level to be successful. I wanted to talk today about something that was a reoccurring theme last week. So we started working with some new people, uh, some new players were coming in and we were having some players that were kind of going into maybe a little bit of a slump. And whenever someone comes in for the first time for a hitting session, um, I don't even have them pick up a bat for probably the first 10 or 15 minutes. And I just continue to I ask questions and I say, you know, what's your, what's your approach when you get in the box? Uh, and then they tell me or they say they have no idea and then I say okay what's your approach when you're on deck what's your approach when you're in the hole what's your approach when you uh, see the opposing pitcher warm up for the first time and usually there's a pattern there they they can't tell me and so it's it's vitally important that we have as much information as we can to go into the box with. The more information we have about the pitcher, the better chance we have uh, of executing, you know, a, a hit and run or even simply just getting a base hit. So I wanted to talk about that. It's, it's very important and there's, especially starting at a younger age, um, and I've seen people all the way up to the major leagues use the approach of, hey, we're only looking fastballs. We're, we're going to look for the fastball. The pitcher uh, is trying to get ahead, mainly with the fastballs. They're using the fastball to set up other pitches. Uh, the, the higher level you get, of course, they're going to have better pitches that they can throw anytime they want. But the younger you get, kids are just taught to throw fastballs. Let's just throw a fastball, get it in there, and then we'll come back with something else. So if that's what the pitcher is going to throw, most of the time, then why, don't, why are we even looking for another pitch? And so it's important that you, when you get in the box, your mind's clear and you have intention of doing damage. You know what you're looking for. You don't have to guess. It's either a yes or a no. It's not anything else. It's not, I'm going to see what the pitcher throws me and then I'm going to try and time it up. We don't have time for all that. And the higher level you go, Everything happens a lot faster. And so when you get to the park, your approach should be let's look for fastballs. Unless you just know that you're, pitch, you're throwing against, you're going against a, a, a pitcher that just throws curveballs or sliders, then, then we can change. But 99% of the time, the pitcher's only going to throw fastballs right off the bat. Uh, if a pitcher is starting off with curveballs and changeup, that tells me he doesn't have uh, he doesn't have confidence in his fastball. And how can he control the curveball and the changeup enough times and throw good enough curveballs and changeups to get you out? You're just going to end up getting yourself out, swinging at a bad pitch, or you're going to wait for a floater. You have to have a good approach at the plate for that. But for the simple fact of just go to the plate, looking for fastballs. You see a good fastball, you know what to do. You hit it hard somewhere. And we only try and hit fastballs uh, early in the count. We really don't ever want to hit a first pitch curveball. So step in the box. We've already done our homework on the pitcher. We've seen them in warm-ups. We've seen them while we're sitting in the dugout. We're counting how many strikes he throws. We're counting how many fastball he throws. If he throws other pitches, we're seeing how many of those he throw. If he throws 80% fastballs in his warm-ups, he's probably not going to come out and start throwing curveballs right off the bat, especially early in the game. So our best chance of having a clear mind and looking for one pitch is hit the fastball. Now, of course, inside we're going to pull it uh, out, middle out, we hit a line drive over second baseman's head. Uh, you know, that, we'll talk about that a little later on. But what I'm going to do 
is, again, like I said, the more information you have about the pitcher, what we're looking for, what does he throw, the better hitter we can be. And it's all about doing your homework. Uh, I've seen a lot of kids, they're playing around the dugouts, they're visiting with people while they're on deck, they get into the box and I haven't seen one pitch from the pitcher. And they swing at a terrible pitch that everybody knew was coming, and then they look at me and I'm like, have you not seen the, the pitcher? Have you not seen what the hitters before you did? So it's very, very, very important that you do your homework. You start picking information up. As soon as the pitcher starts throwing in the bullpen, you want to see what he has. When he comes to the mound for his warm-up pitches, you want to see what he has. Now, if you've hit against the pitcher before, you probably know what's coming, okay? But if you've never hit against the pitcher before, or you want to see if maybe he's worked on some things, you definitely want to see what the pitcher's throwing in warm-ups, see where the catcher's sitting up, see where the, hit, the pitcher's trying to work his spots, see what the percentage of fastballs are going to be. Um, you know, and so that's, that was something that I, I kept seeing over and over last week, um, talking to some players in, in their games. Also, uh, when kids were coming in to get hitting lessons, you know, we asked them, what's your approach? And they said, I'm trying to hit a strike. Okay, you know, let, let's talk more about that. Uh, because once you get in the box, you don't have time to think. It's, this is what I'm looking for. I'm not going to deviate from that plan very much. And we're not going to chase junk early because in the picture, he doesn't have to throw us anything good. If we stay disciplined, we put a good swing on the fastball, uh, then we're going to try, then we're going to make the pitcher throw what we want versus we chase what he throws, he can throw what he wants. Uh, that's the, the constant battle between pitchers and hitters. We're trying to get something that we can hit really hard somewhere, and they're trying to keep us off balance. So if we do our job, we stick to our plan. We don't try and adapt to his plan. We stick to our plan, and when we get a good fastball, we put a smash on it. We hit it somewhere hard, uh, you know, and then we can go from there. But uh, I would always say the best thing to do, especially if you don't have a plan, just go up there looking for a fastball. When you get that fastball, you have to be ready to hit. Even if it's the per first pitch, second pitch, you know, once you get in the hole, we can change maybe a little bit, but you're still looking fastball. If you're expecting a fastball and th you're thinking, yes, 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 here it comes, here comes a fastball, fastball comes, all you have to do is hit. It's really that simple. Uh, once we try to start guessing at pitches, guessing at locations, we don't know what we want to do, there's too many things going on in our mind where we can't hit. The ball's past us already. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to put together a hitting cheat sheet. Uh, you can download that free uh, down below. Go ahead and check that out, print that out if you want to work on the different situations in, in the cage. Uh, but it will give you some good, good things to look at, some good, good principles to go by. Uh, if you want to check that out, uh, that will be down below. You want to download that for free. Uh, as always, we appreciate you checking our, our channel. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and shoot us. We're, we're here to help. Um, everyone who wants to learn more baseball, we're here to help you out.